Welcome to Reader Syndicate 3.0, the next evolution of the look into counterculture that is canon. My name is Matthew, owner of Riot Seeds, and this started as a one-man mission for strain history and breeding science. Over time, it's evolved into something bigger, better, and more of a team effort. We will be joined by members of the Can Illuminati and other friends throughout the seasons to hear their takes on grow techniques, breeding science, strain history, and more. Our mission is to combat the narrative that corporate cannabis and seed posers are obfuscating for their own financial benefit. Welcome to the underground. We are the Syndicate. Welcome to Breeder Syndicate. I'm Matthew here with Thousandfold, and we have a few friends with us that are also growers. And uh, we've been gone for, I guess, what will now be a few weeks. So uh, we will probably recap on that as well at the beginning. Um, Real quick, I guess I'm just going to jump into that. And yeah, uh, yeah this, uh, so T- tell us what's happened in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So, for those who don't know, we did a few shows that um, we felt were really important uh, for a lot of the newer growers or newer seed buyers to understand what they were going to be looking at when they first came online to buy seeds um, based on data and statistics and just what we see around. Like we chose two different sites, that being, I, I can say it because I can't do anything. The attitude, and I love growing MJ. I don't want to say that now. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we went through and we showed like basically what red flags are. You know, we didn't really go after with the attitude. We didn't go after the attitude. We went after not even specific breeders, just the biggest red flags we saw of some of the more popular breeders for new seed growers and um yeah they just got flagged taken down um reported for drug dealing which was just you know i mean we're a a history and info show that happens to be about cannabis so um we ended up uploading those on vimeo but we did get strikes so that's uh something so that's why we uh, have been down for a few weeks and uh yeah you know i wanted to do a quick recap on it as far as like letting you guys know they're out there and we'll include the links below um but they're important episodes like just think about all the money that we all spent as we got into this and how much of it like after having some knowledge and learning how much money was fucking wasted with this bullshit that that's meant to just completely screw you um so yeah as important as it is and as as many requests as we've got to do that we tried and uh just didn't quite work so maybe in the future we'll try again but it's it's the whole idea was to show the site and show proof of it evidence of it as we're going through but that's really where they got us is uh by showing their websites so that's it thousand so let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, so today we have kind of similar to last season where we invited on, uh, who was it, Spindle, Big Urn, Local, to talk about what they've been growing, what they're looking for, uh, what they found. We have Sean. Do I call you Sean or two, Sean? Or do I call you just Sean on the show? Uh, Sean works. I'll just call me Sean. Sean. We have Scroost and Scarecrow. And we have KT. Um so maybe to start us off, why don't you guys introduce yourselves a bit? Just tell us a bit about what, you know, how long you've been growing for, what your growing experience has been like, and maybe to tie it back a little bit to what Matt was saying, maybe just as a bonus, add in any anecdote about, I don't know, early seed bank experiences that you may yeah. have had. Okay. How about we start with, uh, let's go with Sean since we just talked to Sean. All right, so my first experience um, growing was back, I think, in like 2008, 2009, when I was just getting out of high school. Um, prices of everything were just like, were so fucking good. So um, my friend's dad, he used to grow back in the 90s. So he was like, oh, let's get in on this and everything and and put kind of me and, and his son in charge of looking up and finding seeds um, we first started with bag seeds that were coming from some friends that were getting stuff from either 
where they said Michigan or Cali. And so we kind of did that. And then when that was kind of going all right and producing decent plants, um, you kind of want us to look at seeds. And I remember first looking and I was on attitude. I think it was like looking at Nirvana stuff. And I remember looking through the stuff that was kind of the cannabis cup winning. And I think there was like crystal, um, there was like snow white, blue mystic, um, blackjack, what else? Um, like a couple others. Double uh, Northern, Northern Bright. Northern Bright. Um, and a few others that we're like looking at. And then we ended up choosing Northern Bright, um, Snow White, Blue Mystic, Crystal, and a couple others. And we're they're going good, but he would always want to cut them at like five weeks. <laughs> and then not go through the actual like and then not even try and let things dry and because he was like i got to get everything sold in six weeks and everything like <laughs> done five weeks sold in six and then just like and i Damn. i didn't know why but i mean he had a drug addiction so he was trying to there you go do that and he was <laughs> yeah yeah i mean he ended up having us uh sell a bunch of drugs for him after his son kind of like blew up the spot because we ended up renting this big place this big nice house and we had the whole basement that we were starting up and his son of course like brought people that weren't supposed to be over and his dad was like fuck of this <laughs> tore everything down oh, and shit. then like then he was just like oh here you want to have a cell like uh you know roxy's or whatever that he's getting prescribed <laughs> and then, so that turned in just bad to just horrible decision after decision and then i finally got back into growing in 2017 and was looking around and i started um doing some more research um i'd always kind of pop in every here and there just kind of reading things because i mean i always wanted to really get into growing and and that's just what i kind of just want to do just have like you know whatever job you know make some money and then just be able to to grow and you know maybe have like a little auxiliary cash or whatever yeah. but um yeah, so I got back into it in like 2017, started growing some of Bodhi stuff. I grew strawberry milk and then Stevie Wonder, um, which yeah, was, that was a good one. Both, yeah, both were good. That's where I first had my first introduction with Appalachia with the strawberry milk. Um, Stevie I enjoyed Wonder that. is one of his first strains ever. This is one of the, first, the earliest ones, too. Yeah, I think. Williams Wonder something. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't. Can't remember exactly uh, what it was. I know it was Appalach. I know it's the Appalachian the father, and then um, Stevie Wonder. It was like train wreck, blueberry, um, something else uh, to the Snow Lotus father, um, and all those were you know really great. Um, and then from there, I started getting some seeds from my friend who, you know, I would help out a little bit here and there and he would show me a few different things and, and help me learn about like a little bit of soil building and, and just different things like that or tricks I just didn't really think of. And then I finally got into, um, I guess when the blue bonnet lines came out, that's really when I started getting some, uh, mat seeds and grew, I guess. Yeah. When the first drop of the, the like pre-release of the, blistering came out i popped those yeah those were those were phenomenal i had like one that turned like blue um but had like gmo structure and smelt it was it was like a perfect mixture of the bonnet and gmo where and then just like the the taste translated and it would just coated your mouth and everything um and then from there i i got onto blooper skunks when they were released um, I had wrist surgery in between. So when I had wrist surgery, I had a cast on and my whole arm was up past the elbow was immobilized. So I couldn't really do much for four months. So I was kind of just chilling and then got into the blooper skunks, um, grew a bunch of those. Was it your girlfriend hand? Yeah, That's unfortunately. <laughs> but I, so I had to, had to make the other one stronger. <laughs> Help me be ambidextrous. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, so then 
grew out a few different things um in in between there and now um the ones that are most notable were Pagalolos. we're gonna um, we're gonna get into like what okay, like cool. the more detailed stuff about what you found and like what you liked yeah um, so so i kind of just been going on since uh consistently since 2017 other than when i had wrist surgery i had like the the four month break um that was 2020 like right before the pandemic happened so luckily that happened i was in a cast and it wasn't like anything wasn't a big deal but yeah that was uh that's about it i think pretty nice. sweet thank you that's awesome uh it's Kristen. uh yeah um well i try i tried to grow when i was a teenager and uh that didn't work out because i didn't know what to do and didn't have anybody to show me or anything like that uh but i started like actually harvesting in 2011 and uh i don't know i, I wasted a bunch of money on seeds from the attitude <laughs> and uh, you what, did, back to, what did you get what did you can you i was buying, i was buying those greenhouse when they were doing the the circles with like five seeds in it and you poke a little hole out of the back pla uh yeah yeah were they the, coated, the, the wax coated seeds were they any of those ones? yeah the colored yeah. one the yeah. white and black packs and yeah. i got the sativa lover pack or whatever oh, fuck yeah bro <laughs> Yeah, I, I ended up going back to bag seed. Um yeah, except totally like this it. time it was from, you know, like decent weed. Yeah. And uh I don't know, I had to take a hiatus for a little bit. Right. And yeah. uh so, so you, you, you end up going to bag seed over the greenhouse seed that you bought? <laughs> yeah, well not just greenhouse, but greenhouse was the ones I was banking on. I was like, I'm going legit, you yeah, know, right. no more of this. Cause like I, I started realizing like, man, the problem is that like, I'm just popping like Mexican bag seed. I yeah. had no fucking shot. I didn't have uh HID lights. I was running off of those giant CFLs. The I ones that are like the things, size bro. of a pineapple. So like, like that big. Yeah. 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 I, I had no shot uh, at like actually harvesting anything besides a couple of bracks. So yeah. I, I thought, well, you know, it's probably my seeds. It's probably, you know, like I actually got a book, started reading, got a switchable uh, metal halide HPS light and um, bought what I thought were the most legit seeds that I could get, which was greenhouse. Fuck yeah, cup winners, bro. Cup winners. Every time. <laughs> yeah, they were, just, they were just so, I don't know. They they looked okay, I guess. They had great advertising, had, dude. They they really did, and still do. Yeah. And I like the shirts from the stealth shipping from Attitude. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You get those cool shirts. Yeah. Yeah, but I just went to like bag seed from. Uh, I was you know transferring some stuff from uh, a friend out in California, and I guess they're spot seeded out and pretty much everything was seeded for like a year. So I just started going through that stuff and uh, yeah, I didn't buy seeds again until, until I came back at a hiatus. Cause I was just kind of helping friends grow since I couldn't at the time. Yeah. And uh, I popped up, a, finally was able to pop up a two by four and do everything, you know, veg, flour even drying in it like i had to do everything in that little two by four so i was just buying fem seeds from uh um what's it called uh the hot chick and her dad oh, oh uh humble <laughs> humble seed co how i mean yeah. i assume that's who you mean yeah <laughs> yeah you know like because i i had some because i had still been collecting seeds and stuff yeah. um and i i didn't want to because when when i when i got caught up and had to stop for a bit like i i started learning that cloning isn't just about multiplication of 
like plants it's like actually oh hey this one was better than the rest there you go um so i didn't want to pop anything like that i thought would be super special yeah with even those packs those were bullshit too uh, and then uh yeah i don't know i no offense Helen. <laughs> uh i will i found you know i don't know i found the the podcast started listening and um yeah i got some triangle choke seeds from a friend uh that he got from one of those one of those uh shirt that's right yeah 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 we had the shirt giveaway seed thing yeah so i, I popped those found something i loved and i haven't really stopped popping syndicate beans since yeah excellent yeah and the rest is history yeah we'll get into that we'll be getting into that and that'll be fun because yeah i know you know the other reason why i picked the three of you is because yeah all three of you are great growers you've been growing stuff from the crew for a while and so look forward to hearing more about that as we go on it, kyle, it, tell us before, some, before oh, kyle starts that avatar is my i have to say second favorite but that was one of my favorite dogs that i've ever interacted with and that was kind of like me and Kyle knew who each other were before, like, you know, but like, I think that's how we became friends. Friends was through that dog. And yeah, it's cool to see sure. him there. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's why I picked it. So. Yeah. Oh, <clears> no, oh, yeah. Me. So, yeah. That's go ahead. pretty wholesome. Yeah, go Kyle. Uh, well, I mean, I'm pretty I'm much a newer grower. Uh, oh, man, maybe five years. Um, well, like screw, I I tried maybe when I was a teenager, but mm -hmm. I was been raising kids for you know that's basically what i've been doing so but i've been waiting i've been around cannabis you know basically my whole life uh, i've had family grow in mendo sonoma uh some out in virginia um so you know that's uh pretty much it but my first seed bank uh, i don't really didn't really to deal with seed banks i have my first seeds were from uh snow high oh, so yeah. i've i've really only dealt with uh kind of that type of seed bank there's no real dutch type stuff or anything like that yeah just straight I've only dealt with breeder yeah for pretty much and any seed banks or ones you know that were uh matt was helping out and that's yeah. how i got a lot of matt stuff is basically i was trying he's helping people out and i always thought that was a cool thing that matt always tries to do and uh yeah so you know that's and through um through my seeds uh through my growing i started out with the rev so i do all tlo yeah. Uh, that's, that's how I found out about Snow High and Matt and Instagram and all that stuff, the lives. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And actually, oh, when I was a, and actually when I was a teenager, surprisingly, how it worked out is um, I uh, we used to use the um, uh, the Rev likes to do use um, uh, nutrient spikes, yeah. and uh, Miracle Grow actually had them, and that was one of the things that I actually did when I was a teenager because I thought, hey, well, that makes sense. Why why do I want to feed it all the time? When sure. I can just put it into the soil and then just water it. Yeah. Uh, and so once I found his philosophy, uh, it just, everything fit for me. And uh, I just been doing that cool. and yeah, there's no reason for me to change basically. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was going to just say, that's right. Now, now I remember you, yeah, you're doing, um, TLO cause uh Bumcat from our discord community has actually been talking to me about like a broad organics episode and I just have been struggling to to think of people to include so maybe I'll I'll, I'll be in touch with you about that for sometime right. in the future yeah I really enjoy it because uh, I'm getting as a, I'm not you know I'm not younger anymore and I do construction so the rev uh, it's small containers uh you know it's 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 real easy it's not a lot of heavy lifting type stuff um so that fits my me because I do night gardening uh, yeah. so you know it's hard for me you know, to do a lot of stuff sometimes once I get home, <laughs> you know, yeah, sure. especially once I, you know, I guess another job on top of another job sometimes. And that that's never fun because that's not why I do this. I definitely do it for a passion. It's what I like to do. So nice. Okay. Well, I've loosely divided this talk into like three parts. So the first part is kind of meant to be like what you've grown in the past. Then the second part's like what you found and the third part's meant to be like what else you're looking for so more of the future in saying that i know it's obviously hard to talk about what you've grown without talking about what you're looking for but you know we'll, we'll do our best to to see we can kind of focus in these you know from these different perspectives so we're going to start from what you've grown and i know you guys have already sort of touched on that but we could bring it back to sean because sean is about to tell us about you know blooper skunks and all that 
what are some of the highlights, Sean, of, of the things that you've grown? Um, and yeah, just, just kick it off. And, and I think at this point, I also invite all of you to ask questions if you have any um, yeah. to each other. Good call. Yeah, so I guess some of my favorites that I have grown so far have definitely been the blistering, um, the blooper skunk, uh, the blue sour, the blue resin, uh, the Santa Cruz wreck. That that stuff's phenomenal. Um, I found so like this this blue um, bubble tape kind of fino, mm -hmm. um, and then there's like one that popped out that was just like this weird, savory, meaty, rancid, meaty kind of thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't, it, it was just weird. I, I don't really know how to explain it. My nose kind of sucks too. So I'm probably, so how someone else would smell it, they would probably be like, maybe that's not necessarily what it is. Or they'd pick up other notes. Yeah. Um, And then also Pacalolo's uh, Sour Skunk Dog. Um, that's right. Yeah, that was one of my favorites of the the sour hybrids i've grown and i've grown out probably like 10 10 different ones um of just like the sours and the diesel hybrids over the past two or three years and really the the blue sour the appalachian diesel and the sour skunk dog would be my three that i would kind of just look through the to find something um i really love the the happy diesel um i grew out four plants um one was all right the other three uh they're just like two were really close um just really really loud um just i could bring it into a room and, and people would smell it and, and immediately and kind of just ask like what the fuck is that um yeah and it would have this just burnt rubber kind of just rotten mango funk to it um, that translate completely the taste with the the high that's just uh hits you and and it, you know makes you kind of kind of dumb a little bit but it like keeps you awake and it kind of just gets your mind off of things and numbs your body a little bit and just kind of stays up in the head and doesn't really uh doesn't really burn you out too much um which is great like you don't have like yeah. like the crash um and then the app f3s were good um they're a little bit slower veg for me than I, I prefer. Um, but flavor wise, um, just really great. I got this one that was like a mango chem. Um, so it was, I guess it was more kind of trace dog with just like the, the little bit of green crack on the back end that kind of gave it a little extra taste and flavor to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, then what else? The original Can I ask Sean actually just yeah. before you go on what what led you to these particular packs or strains? What were you um, so like good I, diesel representations? Maybe? Yeah, I kind of was looking for so I I also grew out I was looking for like banana tie because I always kind of wanted to do like a little bit of just growing some seeds and throwing things together that that I would like so. I was kind of going through through all like the diesels and 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 sours and stuff like that, trying to find a couple lines, you know, that I would really like that I could then go back through. And how I kind of go and purchase would be, um, I something I think would be like really good or should be. I may buy like a couple packs, you know, for. But initially, I, if I'm not too sure about, it, I'll buy a pack and then grow it out. If I like it, then I'll I'll buy a few more. So um all those i've i've ended up going back and, and buying buying more just because i, I want to end up using them for making seeds for my own and and trying to um just make something that i i could like you know uh yeah. myself and just you know be happy that i i made something that i enjoy and and i have um i went and got i so the banana tie i got some outdoor from Cody, uh, Matt knows Cody. He said, oh, boy, he said yeah. That. yeah. I, I can't yeah. remember like undefeated or, or can't remember whatever his uh, yeah, Instagram was. I can't remember. But, <laughs> yeah. He, he, so he sent me some of the outdoor that was just this like juicy fruit bubble gum that reminded me of some weed I had when I was 17. Um, yeah. And like I skipped school to go and get and everything. And 
Um, <laughs> and then the kid's dad comes home and gets all pissed because we're like smoking weed in his house. And it's just like this, it, I don't know, it was a fun time. So <laughs> I wanted to kind of, and then that kind of brought the nostalgia, but this banana tie had just like the most amazing high. It was just kind of just really racy, but not like anxiety inducing. Yeah. Um, which is, as you know, what I really like. Mm-hmm. And then just the flavor and everything. It was like this juicy fruit bubble gum with a little bit of a spiciness to it. And then he also sent some shatter that was just all juicy fruit bubble gum. And like this was yeah. like 2018 or, or 19. It was when yeah. your lives also, were going. It was when your yeah, lives like, first or I don't know when your lives first started, but it was, it was right before. I guess it, it was like a year before 2019, I think. Started, yeah. About. Right when Cody yeah. was around. Yeah, sometime like 18, 19. Yeah. And so then I wanted to, you know, I got a pack from you. I think the last pack of the F1. So I wanted yep. to, you know, try and find a female to, to keep and then uh, possibly use that or just really just to have that. So then I took, I didn't end up funding a female. So I ended up getting a male and I was like, all right, let's just see what happens. So I ended up pollinating blue resin, um, some Apocalolo Sour Skunk Dog, uh, a not-so-LA Lemon Tree, um, not-so-LA uh, TK from CSI. What else did I get? Oh, uh, Cherry Berry. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit, and, and, those, and then I also hit the, like I said, the blue resin. I um, feel like there's like a couple other things in there. I can't, I can't remember everything. They just didn't really interest me all that much. Um, but I've grown out the blue resin banana tie and got some really nice, like creamy blue and blueberry lemon. And I ended up with some of the more blueberry lemon ones. I ended up making some hash from some, well, that was sitting around for, you know, four months curing and the hash came out blueberry lemon. Um, That's awesome. Made some bubble hash, and I've been enjoying that a lot. Um, and then the cherry berry banana tie came out. Um, I only grew out three females. I did a small pop just to see what it was. Everything's like really nice, dense, very resinous. Two of the three phenos were, um, they're like a cherry lemon, yeah. and just like this kind of like light green with more of like a yarn, like a rust colored hair, I guess. And those ones were, are just really nice. Um, I've given some to some friends and stuff to try out of them myself and they all seem to like them. And then one was a purple Fino that, uh, kind of was, was more of like the cherry berry. Um, but it was purple. So I'm guessing that one was more, um, cherry berry leaning super frosty the high actually i enjoyed more of that pheno and ended up smoking that one first um so really most of what i've bought and things like that i've kind of wanted to to eventually find run through things find things i i like and then kind of mix them together um and enhance the, the the ones that i find so with the banana tie doing that, I was hoping to pass on. I was hoping the male would have the you know the juicy fruit um, terpene profile and pass that along along with the effects. Um, so that was my goal. I haven't really found the you know the juicy fruit profile, but and effect wise, I couldn't really tell you if it has passed on very much, but. From what I've grown out, I have enjoyed it. Um, I have, you know, seen the nuances and, and flavor profiles. I, I just need to go back to those seeds and grow out more to to really see what's there, yeah, um, and everything. But but like mm-hmm. I said, you know, I've, I'm going from a male. I can't really, if it was, you know, using the female and going, I would have a better idea of what I'm trying to find. And this, sure. I was hoping, you know, it would pass on certain things, but. And maybe of the other uh, four things I have that I haven't run yet, something will pop out of those. Um, but we'll see about that. Um, mm, so can, yeah. And then I guess so of my my top, I guess if I say the top three of, of the ones I have grown, I'd definitely say Original Sin. That one's that one's oh, really yeah. good. Everybody loves that one. 
Yeah, Can I feel tell like us what the cross is. Uh, it's Lumpa he Lumpa's headband uh, to Appy, yeah. Appy F3. Um, and it's just like, I haven't grown out Lumpa headband, but I've seen it and, and seen what other people have said. And it's like a more stocky um, oh, kind push. of Lumpa's. And it's just like this pine saw yeah, um, yeah. funk, you know, with a little bit of like burnt rubber maybe in there. Mm -hmm. And there's some phenos that have, that are, like a little bit of mango in there instead of the the pine saw and those ones are just like really really good and all the pot the potency in all of them um i had four females all relatively close to each other um and that's probably what i or well not probably that is definitely what i've been smoking on the most um recently um and those i definitely want to look through more and more but i mean i found four that i was you know happy with flavor wise and effects with so um i i know i didn't keep any because I, I have some work going on at the place i'm at right now and keeping me from keeping anything but then once the work's done i'm gonna go back to um the ones i've really liked growing over the past you know few years and then look into there for keepers to to then make some uh some cool things with hopefully and then i would also say i really love the appy diesel and then the cherry berry, the cherry berry is really, really good. Um, but man, the blooper skunk and, and blistering too. It's just, um, the blooper skunk. I got a lot of like, kind of blue, like just buttery blue phenos. And then That's some that was like, a, like really skunky. And then I got one that was like, I don't know how to, how to describe it. It was kind of like a blue, like sweet tart kind of thing or like an electric kind of blue thing that yeah. ended up turning a little funky towards the end. Um, and I would just describe it as best as like, this is like electric blue funk and the taste was just mouth coating and t you know, flavor just translated and had this just really, really, nice mellow high um which I, I liked about a lot of them i know i've seen tests and stuff and a lot of people and they test high but i mean i guess maybe I, I smoke a good amount but they didn't like overpower me but they they did everything i wanted it to do you know um yeah. with wrist surgery my my wrist is completely like just pretty much destroyed i can take my um ulna and move it up and down still after surgery yeah. <laughs> so, and i do uh you know uh manual labor and stuff for a living so i need i need stuff that's gonna know you know fix with that uh not to mention just other like torn labrums and other injuries that i just what the hell did you do to do all this you get uh, oh do pond work and boulders and and you know oh, yeah, moving yeah, those yeah. around and one slipped and was about to fall in and i grabbed it with my hand and it just like pulled my shoulder out of socket. Jesus. And, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I need stuff, you know, that's gonna not necessarily, you know, put me down. Cause I like this smoke throughout the day as well. So I'm looking for things that will cover, you know, the aches and pains. Um, and then, you know, maybe help with my focus. Cause I have ADHD or not ADHD, but I have just bad attention, you know? So I, you know, yeah, I'm just like, ADHD, yeah, I'm like bouncing around half the time. So <laughs> yeah, it helps me, you know, focus down and nail down tasks. And I just, you know, I, I'm not trying to be, but then at night, you know, that's why I like, you know, maybe the original sin, um, that that's kind of my go-to after work that, or, yeah. uh, yeah. or the Appalachian diesel is really nice. Um, I do also yeah. really like the, the cherry berry, um, banana ties, and then I grew out the the blue tints from Pico. Um, those those were nice. They all came out like just really nice bag appeal, um, really blueberry smelling. I had one that was kind of more uh, definitely looked more Cushman's um, and cookies, and it was kind of like a um, like a blueberry lemon muffin kind of thing going on. Yeah. And yeah, I mean at, those were those were good too. I enjoyed those um, just as quick little testers from the thing. So, I mean, a lot of the freebies and things that you give, I'll just, you know, give those a go. And most of those are great too. Um, but Wait, yeah, freebies from where? 
spell it out. Oh well, not well. No, no, not necessarily. Oh well, when you buy packs and stuff from math, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Exchanges yeah. for low jobs. Yeah. 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 yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Let me. Yeah, I'll pause you there, Sean, because we're still we're still going to go into what you found later on, so you can like you know maybe think about what else you found um, for the next part. Yeah, the other so, thing I, I've, yeah. I've noticed is no. It, the other thing I've noticed is that um, the three of you will have some overlaps in what you've grown, and that's going to be quite cool to talk about. So maybe Sean, if I pause you there and move us on to Kyle, because you're going to get to come back again anyway. Yep. Kyle, do you want to speak to? I know you've done some banana tie stuff as well. Am I am I wrong? Uh, no, actually, yeah, no, I have. Uh, yeah, that's actually my uh, the one thing I'll make sure I never lose is the one my number one from the S ones. Uh, yeah, it's the juicy fruit or I fruit stripe for you know uh, yeah. old school people. I I always yeah, fruit stripe fruit. gum. Yeah, the first drive, even though now it's gone, but I still, yeah, that's how I refer stripes. to it. Yeah. Fruit so, <laughs> I remember uh, that commercial. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it's, uh, it's a three, four hour uh, high for me. Uh, you, I can smoke, it's a no ceiling. I can just keep smoking, get higher, higher. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's for me, it's just, I've, I've tested it pretty thoroughly. Uh, I can't get it to do Herm. Uh, so yeah. it's pretty i want to do work with it and i've been trying i tried my first reverse stuff uh i don't know i don't think anything took but you know that's how it goes and i only did one plant so i i knew i knew failure was pretty uh 100 percent. actually i i, I <laughs> figured <laughs> i figured <laughs> with one plant but i figured i had one uh, ready and i just threw it in there uh to see what would happen type of thing uh and i also have uh, another one i uh out of the pack i, I got five and I got a pretty good um, expressions, especially from what Matt has seen pictures of. Uh, yeah. I ended up getting a cookies and cream one. Uh, a few that were kind of more of the dad uh, from what the pictures were. Uh, yeah, that's definitely. ones that, yeah, that's ones that you really like as pictures. Yeah, um, those pictures are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They definitely, uh, the high, was, it was okay. Uh, wasn't there of what I wanted. And, and yeah. the, the, the Terps, it was just kind of, they the blend. It, when the ones that have stuff gets muddled, it, yep. it, it, it's just it's there's, kind of just there's nothing there's bland ones inside that banana tie and that's the thing like there, there's there been um expressions in there that i've definitely considered just straight bland like i yep. don't know if it's just the cookies that mutes it all but it just goes bland in some of them like cardboard bland but yeah it's yeah. weird yeah yeah it's they almost yeah. there yeah it's, even though it's really they smell really good tropical mix like there's yeah. nothing that was like banana or anything to mix, but then yeah, once you smoke it, it was kind of yeah, just nothing, no terpy wise. But I, for me, it's always the effect. I can I can yeah. get beyond terps because I'm really old school, so I've smoked a lot of a lot of bad bad stuff <laughs> in my in my time because that's like yeah. I've been smoking since uh, uh, basically I was nine. Since um, Paraquat, bro. Yeah, so basically, early, we're talking early '90s. So we're talking. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely smoked some bad stuff. So it's like, hey, man, go get something to drink. Like, you know, <laughs> if, I, if I really have to. Yeah, right. Is you just get over it? But uh, uh, yeah, I just really like the banana tie. Um, yeah, and I just plan on working that and keeping it. So yeah, yeah. What what other stuff have you grown in the past that you you know you want to highlight? Uh, well, my first thing I ever did before, I actually didn't get the snow high seats first because he took a little bit because, uh, he was waiting on whatever I had actually had ordered. So I actually had got uh, CSI and it was a uh, sweet pig stink. So that was my very first, uh, grow. Um, I love that line. Love that uh, line. Yeah, I did three of those. Uh, it was okay. I just, I don't think I was the best, obviously my first grow. So uh, that, yeah, yeah, I, for I, sure. looking back at the pictures, especially I'm like, Oh yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> 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 i didn't enjoy it so much but i i still have half that pack um but then uh i did some perfect pearls those were pretty good i yeah. enjoyed those and uh those were ones of the few that uh actually my wife she doesn't actually smoke but uh she always smells pine she's very sensitive to anything pine so basically everything yeah. just smells weed pine uh those are ones she actually says uh and she remembers uh was sugary sugary sweet yeah. so those are the ones it's that she so remembers. hard to describe pearl man. so it's can you can you spell out wh what's perfect pearl who's it from oh so that's from uh souvenir uh seco uh okay. and that's the uh silver pearl s1s and these were his uh first release so uh you know obviously i found out through matt obviously instagram and you know i got those as soon as they were available actually i think that was through the seed bank at the time and yeah. so I, I popped on those really fast as soon as they came up so yeah yeah that's one of my favorite cuts that I've ever grown was that silver pearl cut that he used to make the S ones. And that's where I sourced it. Same guy. Pit. 
Uh, yeah, and then uh, see what else. Uh, everything else is kind of just a random stuff. I haven't really kept anything uh, too special. There's some people uh, I've grown. I'm not going to mention names. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got, I got that one. But yeah, yeah. There's certain names I just won't like the certain seed banks. I just for me, I just won't give them. Uh, this I just I just don't mention names. That's just you know, it's just they're not worth the time type of thing. Yeah. Uh, Let's see what Maybe else. Maybe one thing well. I can ask you, Kyle, is: uh, Did you have a sense of what you were looking for earlier? Uh, on? Well, for me, uh, I, I think I was thinking uh, recently that I think I was searching for everything because uh, it was just this is such a passion for me, and I never grew that I gr I have so much now that I don't really know if I ever have to buy anything anymore. I need to start kind of looking through what I have. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, thanks, Matt. <laughs> and just making, making yeah well i am making my own by making my own stuff because i know there's certain stuff that people uh basically what i look for is if everybody's doing one thing i go the opposite so i know you know right now uh everybody's kind of going the blueberry in the discord so right now i probably wouldn't be going blueberry type of thing yeah. so i start looking in the opposite direction because that's just that's just how always how i've been for everything i just kind of do the opposite of what everybody's yeah, doing gotta keep it unique bro well, yeah, and it's yeah, it's kind of you know, but we're all going to see pictures of blueberry, and so very, very soon, and that's yeah. all, all yeah. we're going to see. <laughs> As yeah, it's also like a team. It's I mean, also like a team, team I mean, thing, Matt's, right? Matt's you know that be, the team's Matt's, doing this, so. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Matt's going to be very happy, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I love blueberry, so, uh, bro. Uh, yeah, the other uh, notable be right now would be uh, the sweet pea. Uh, I did get those seeds uh, secondhand, not not actually through uh, the person who uh, made them. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he wants to be mentioned because I know he's not an actual. Who bitter? Uh, yeah, no, that's. Fine. Oh yeah, I never know yeah. if he because I know he doesn't actually. Uh, uh, no, no, yeah, he uh, sell like you know so. Yeah, the, uh, one of the other so. people that I, I don't like to talk about either. Like pretty much took credit for all that shit because bitter doesn't say anything. But yeah, as yeah. bitter. He yeah. one work with my stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I got that one. Um, yeah, and that's the uh, same thing with the tie. I've already put that through pretty much uh, good the pace, and it hasn't done anything. It's hard yeah. for me to get it to be mad. And so I plan, I like to mix that with the tie because uh, people say that there's the menthol camphor nutty thing. I don't get that from mine. Mine is kind of more just what I describe as hashy, which is just uh, bland. There's mm -hmm. no real flavor. It's just, uh, to me, resin uh it, which i think would be good with the tie because yeah. it's just gonna get uh, i would think more more resin because of the sweet pea is pretty resinous and the, everybody likes the oh, pictures yeah. and uh maybe a little bit of structure but that i'm not too too worried about but i think the mix would be good yeah and, sure. and then and then the high i think it would be good i think it could be more intense uh with the legs is what i what i would think and that's what i would be searching for Nice, thank you. Skristen. Uh yeah. So I uh I really like the what I found in the triangle choke. Um and what's that? What's triangle choke? Uh that's no. uh TK by Gisel and then pollinated to the blue bonnet. Bam. Pollinated by the blue bonnet. Yeah. Yeah, and sorry, just to just to know, obviously we all know what these these strains are, but I'm making you guys spell it out for the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I liked. It. So I got the five seed pack, just the promo pack, um, before they were sold, just uh, for my buddy who got one of the shirts. They were. Did I ever sell those on the site? Maybe I did put yep. them on the site eventually. Did I? Yeah, because I bought the yeah, That's right, I did. Me, <laughs> you did yeah. at one point because you realized yeah. that um, people were interested. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Uh, I, and like that was just out of two females. So I bought two more packs of those, and then Earn gave me two packs of those that he got as a freebie. Um, that I'm going to be going through here soon. Hell yeah, yeah. There's good stuff in it. Is that it? Yeah. What else have you been going? Oh, sorry. Um, the uh, I really liked the stone ape. What we found in the stone ape that uh, my buddy actually bought that pack um, and popped them and gave me clones so that I could help him like keep it alive. Uh, so yeah. I ran them too, and 
what we found in it was is so fucking good. It's re- I mean, three of the four females could easily have been kept just depending on like preference. Yeah. But uh, the one that we, you know, three of us grew them. So we kind of like passed around jars and stuff like that throughout our little friend group here. And um, yeah, we all kind of picked the one that was very much like a, like rotten mango. And this was Gorilla Glue Appalachia? Yeah. Yeah. High yeah. Level- Extremely resinous, um, potent. And like a really good quality of high, not just, you know, like a one note high, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Very broad nice. Spe- broad spectrum high. Yeah. Ton- and like the smoke was really nice. Um, it obviously it looked really good, uh, probably because of the Gorilla Glue. Um, can yeah, I whatever. ask you, Scruston, I don't know if you want to speak to this, and we can, like, clip this out if you don't, but I know that you've got, like, a little crew of friends who actually, like, you guys kind of do grows, t- not grows together, but, like, you kind of, um, you guys are doing some collaborative stuff, right? Trying to yeah. some of the same things. Do you want to talk to us about some of that? Uh, sure, yeah. Um, so, like, I mean, we're all just, like, you know, mostly we're all just dads like growing pot uh, on our own before. And uh, some people, you know, I don't know, I've been friends with some people. One dude I met actually on the syndicate. Um, and we all just kind of pass out jars like from from our harvest to each other. to So we can all kind of like check out what we're, you know, what other lines are like and stuff like that. And, um, one of my buddies, uh, grew and chopped, he's growing out the EB Appy and the EB by blue dream. Yeah. And that's electric boogaloo, right? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's also known as dog shit for those that don't know. Yes. Yeah. And he's looking through those hoping to find, you know, like, a good one out of each. And then I'm looking through the shoreline by Appy and shoreline by Santa Cruz blue dream. So we can kind of cover more, you know, bases. Yeah. And find cool shit. Um, I think that's so cool. Like it's, it's the, it's the kind of thing that like, uh, we dream of more people doing, I think in the community, just like share, like pooling your resources and time essentially. Yeah. Well, we have, uh, like a little bit of like a geographic advantage just because our city is so big, you know, like there's bound to be a lot of people in it that are growing pot, you know? Um, yeah, it was, it was just kind of like finding each other, I guess. That was the hard part. Yeah, it's hard yeah, to find people cool. to trust in, in any city, you know, to that degree, trust them with your yes. family and livelihood. Um, yeah. Want to sit at the table with the syndicate? Check out our Patreon in our link tree or description below. Our merch site is officially live. We have all sorts of shirts, hoodies, and goodies to sort you out, and shipping is super fast, and most importantly, the quality is top-notch. I've been saving old designs for years for this purpose, so please check it out, syndicategear.com. We also have an underground syndicate discord where we get together and solve old strain history together daily. It's an amazing community of learning away from IG, and it's an amazing resource for old catalogs and knowledge. We hope you join our union of breeders and growers. Come check it out.